Hi YouTube, Nicole here. Told you that there would be an update um, today, which is my nine month um, surgery. Actually, um, my surgery was 511 of 09, and today is February 9th of 2010. Oh, <laughs> another senior moment. <laughs> okay, here's my wonderful, wonderful, wonderful news. First of all, um, those of you that have been following know these statistics, but those of you who have not, um, I wanted to share them with you. Kitty's down at my feet again, you guys, so <laughs> be good, Kitty. She's smelling my boots. Um, I was um, initially 380 pounds in November 18th of 2008. I began my um, Healthy Eating for Life class in January of 2009. I lost 29 pounds getting ready for surgery, so I was 351 when I first um, went in to have my RNY gastric bypass laparoscopic procedure on May 11th of last year. Um, I have, get ready, drum roll, <laughs> lost 162 pounds. Yeah. I'm pretty emotional about this whole thing. Um, I've been crying on and off all day today. Um, I had a weigh-in um, just a couple of days ago, um, a couple weeks ago, not even two weeks ago at my support group meeting, which is when I normally weigh in. But of course, I weigh in whenever I go to the doctor. And I have lost eight pounds since that date alone. So in less than two weeks, I lost eight more pounds. <laughs> Um, pretty amazing, pretty amazing. So I now weigh 218 pounds. And um, as we all know about the issues down below, I haven't gone to the bathroom for two days. So I'm sure it's even less than that that I weigh, but that's okay too. Um, my beginning BMI was 63.1 and it's now down to 37. So um, the program that I attend, um, the surgeon, um, the nurse, and the nutritionist have all stated that um, I'm their poster child and that um, they really believe that I'm probably one of their front forerunners in success of the program. Now, success is not just about the numbers. I've talked about that before. I'm off CPAP. My blood pressure is in a normal range. My heart rate's in a normal range. My hemoglobin A1C is in the normal range. All of my lab work looks good. My protein, um, I thought I was only getting about 90 in a day, which is our requirement in our program. And according to my documentation, um, she figured out my protein intake. I'm taking 85 in by food. Um, and um, the rest of it, I take a 35 milligram or 35 gram um, protein supplement. Now I drink, and it's the only protein supplement that I can drink. It is worldwide banana cream. It's in a can, it's 11 ounces, 35 grams of protein. I think it's 160 or 180 calories and no sugar. And for some reason, I can get that in. It's, I just found it less than a month ago. I almost think it's what's kick drived my weight loss again because um, I kind of had a little plateau at around the six to seven month range. Um, so don't be discouraged if that's where you are right now because it it it's going to change. It's just going to keep happening. Um, my waist has gone down 14 inches since surgery and my hips have gone down 20 inches since surgery. Now, my nutritionist has stated that that is the indicator of the water exercises that I've been doing. And as you all know from my last video, a couple of videos ago, I've lost three inches around my neck alone. So the inches are coming off like crazy too. Um, one of the things that um, my nutritionist talked with me about was the fact that my protein intake, which is very high, needs to stay high because of the exercise that I do. I do not want to lose fat. I, I mean, I would want to lose fat. I don't want to lose muscle. Oops, I said that backwards. You want to maintain your muscle and muscle is based on your protein intake. So if, if I'm going to continue with my exercise program and God willing, I will be, 
then I need to make sure that I am taking in enough protein so that I can um, continue to make the proper muscle strength and um, that I don't lose the muscle along, you know, you don't want to look wasted, like you're wasting away or you, people say, you know, people that have had gastric bypass surgery look like they um, have, um, like they're on heroin or they're on drugs or whatever. I don't have that appearance at all. I mean, I sometimes get a little bit of dark circles under my eyes. I blame that on my allergies, but the rest of my body looks healthy. I went to the store and had to buy some clothes and I bought extra large tops and I used to be a 5X. So I've come down to that in nine months time. The other thing is, is that the extra large tops, actually, I could go, could have gone to a large and I didn't realize that I just, I can't see myself there yet. You know, it's like, I know other people do, but I've got that pro the body dysmorphic, dysmorphia syndrome or whatever, probably going on a little bit too. Um, so anyway, I asked them, because when you go in for your 12 month visit at my program, that's when they do your photo and your before and after photo. And so I asked if I could see what I was wearing because I want to wear something similar so that when you're standing side by side, you'll be like, oh my God, you know, that can't be the same girl, but oh yeah, it is. And I was wearing a pink top and denim pants, little clam digger pants that I always love because, you know, whatever. Now I wear Bermuda shorts. Who would have ever thought I'd do that? And, you know, I was holding my two canes on either side of me. Now, of course, I use the walker, but I can stand long enough for them to take a picture without anything. So that'll be awesome when that happens. Um, according to my surgeon, I have already lost 70% of the weight that I needed to lose to make me into a normal weight. I was told that sometimes that's all anyone ever loses. And I've done that in nine months. And I just, I'm blessed. I'm just so, so blessed. I just, I can't imagine that, that this is happening. And that that window of opportunity that I still have another good nine months, they've told me that if I keep on on the right track, that I probably will be a normal weight. Um, we talked about for the first time at this visit at my ninth month visit, what goal weight do I want to get to? And I've picked 155 and I had picked that previously, but they had never discussed it with me. They've discussed it with other one, other friends of mine that are in the program. And I believe that the reason why they did that was when you walk in and you weigh 380 pounds, they don't start talking to you about what goal weight do you want to be at. They are thinking more about let's get rid of your comorbidities and everything. So obviously all my comorbidities have been addressed except for my arthritis and my knees. And he even said that I'm no longer considered in the area where I would be qualifying with the 37 BMI, I wouldn't qualify for surgery. <laughs> that, that's insane. It's insane for me to think that, that if I walked into an office right now to a doctor, that they would not allow me to have gastric bypass surgery. So I don't have any comorbidities anymore. And a surgeon would do my knees right now if I had insurance. So um, what, a, what a gift, what a gift this surgery is. And for anyone out there that's contemplating it, um, tap into the resources here on um, the weight loss surgery community. There's great people out here. There's wonderful, wonderful resources. Um, there's some people that like to be negative, but they're usually not your gastric bypass surgery patients. Find them, friend them, subscribe to them, watch their videos. Um, it's so exciting and it can be kind of funny and silly too. Um, I love all of you. Thank you for your support. I will continue to support you as you make your journey and um, happy nine months and happy weight loss and happy gone comorbidities and amen. Life is good again. All right. Thanks all.